I like, like anti-EV. I think the kind of cool technology is neat, but I just think when it's like, you know, 20, when it's like 20 below and the cars get five miles on charge, I think you have an issue. So I think you're gonna have a huge influx of cars and a lot of flipovers and people going to flip over from EV right back to you know, gas powered cars. Well, I think they have, there's a huge, I can explain, like misnomer and because the EV market and then the high performance market that we produce products for is two different clientels. Some of the people like, oh, like we're going to get a Tesla and all EVs coming. Yeah, sure it's coming, but it's coming in there by 2020 by 2035 no more new gas powered cars are supposed to be produced as people say they people want to be told what they can't do so you have a whole the hot rod culture is going to actually go probably two or threefold um they're not going to say they in the 2035 and out that you cannot drive a gas power car on the street because you can't force everyone in society to banish or to have an EV uh, platform car because at this point we don't even have the infrastructure in place. And then probably what's going to happen with EV, there's going to be a hydrogen power EV, which will be still be a, a piston powered car with hydrogen power, right, which basically r ran on, you know, water with, uh, you know, EV current. So it'll be hybrid cars, a lighter weight, more... It will, it will be still a performance car, still sound like a muscle car, and it'll be more, uh, you know, um, you know um, carbon compliant. So a lot of the European market, not to go to a tangent, they're really in the heritage of high performance cars, and they have massive, massive amounts of parts and pieces, and that could be, um, and through the EV, you know, continuity with EV, it gets more sustainable uh, vision through to be, you know, you know, because you don't have to be completely reliant on the grid and you have a more holistic approach, which is just go flip a switch, literally and go EV and it's not a sustainable um, um, market because a lot of times people are like, oh, EV, you know, the Tesla is so quick and this and that. I'm like, that's great. What's... But that's not really, they're missing the whole point of why we do make high performance um, products, you know, for, you know, it's really for muscle and it's for passion and, you know, muscle car culture is just a different feel and, you know, nuance to it. And we'll, and we'll, we'll probably start making stuff for, for EV as well. But any of the high performance EVs, we'll be making components and parts supporting that industry as well. So I don't really see us, like there's two different completely different dynamics that, um, but you know, the, the, the like political agenda push EVs, which is great, but it's not the same market as the hot rodder.